fellow builders and welcome back to the bench mediocre modeler here and we are we're prepping for wonderfest now normally at this point i'd be all full tilt boogie and just trying to get it all done and i said last year like you know what that's it i'm i'm not doing that anymore i'm gonna be prepared so when the day comes all i gotta do is just pick up my stuff put it in the truck and drive off so where are we? We are full tilt boogie. <laughs> no. At best, we are half tilt boogie. Because uh, we, we've gotten some stuff done. Uh, I, I made a list. I made a list. And working down the list of things that are going to get accomplished or have gotten accomplished and stuff that we're just not going to get to. But one of the things I wanted to do was I needed, I was so focused on the backpack. I'm like, well, well, do you have something that you want to enter into the contest? Well, I wanted to put in my, my E11 blaster. All right. And it's right there. It normally goes right there. It needed a stand because it just, so last weekend I built a stand and this is what I came up with. So the last time I messed with my blasters on camera, I got flagged. So instead of pulling the blaster down and, and doing anything with it, just to be safe, we're going to use an analog. It's straight, you know, hey. Uh, so the idea was I wanted the, you've got on that blaster, you've got the mag that sits off to one side and you've got the scope. And so if you set it, just set it down, it, it tips to one side. I had the idea of doing a diorama with it and had take my stormtrooper glove and put it around the, the handle and have it cut off at the handle and just have like this cauterized flesh coming out of the end of the glove and call it Encounter with a Jedi. I still think it's a really good idea. But then I started really thinking about it and based on where the handle is, the Jedi would have had to cut, cut it off like way here or way back here and nine times out of ten they would have cut they would probably have cut the barrel. Maybe I'm overthinking it but anyway this was this came out a lot better. I wanted to I wanted it to sit level so and I, I didn't want the post to detract too much from what you're supposed to be looking at. So I went into Fusion 360 and just had a, made a simple design. I've got the front end here that will hold hold underneath the front of it so it won't rotate that way and it cradles in at the back. So it sits like that, all right? It's gonna sit just like that. This part was easy. I knew what I wanted it to look like in my head where the, I, I knew that I was, this was meant to be. I went to the store to find a base and I wanted to find a very simple base that wasn't distracting. I was just gonna paint it all black anyway so you weren't distracted by the base. You were looking at the blaster. This, <laughs> this actually is a drawer face. I was at, one of the big box shopping stores and uh, home improvement stores and over in the closet section where you have the the modular closets you can make they had i was looking at those because you gotta think outside the box sometimes you know it was already it would already be finished be a color that i could paint over and i thought i could get it for cheap and boy did i this drawer piece cost 19 cents. <laughs> it was the last one they had. It was the only one in that color. And I was like, I double checked. I'm like, no way. It was the right length. It was the right width. And that, it came out great. So when we go to the other, kind of peek in the back and you'll, you'll be able to see it. But I'll take some beauty, uh, some better pictures of it at the show. 
The only thing I'm thinking of also doing is I'd love to 3D print an Imperial Cog and put it right there. I think that will push it over the top. The other thing I wanted to get accomplished off my list was I needed to add a fan to my helmet because the last time we we walked, uh, we, we were at One Fest and did the walk, I didn't have a, a fan in my helmet. And so I'm, I'm walking behind and I'm breathing and my helmet, my, my visor just fogs up and I can't... I had no idea where I was walking. All I, I could just barely see the guy in front of me about six feet in front. Um, yeah, about five, six feet in front of me. So all I did was follow him. <laughs> just stay behind that guy and you'll be fine. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that this year. I, want, I wanted to be able to see. Well, what, with what lim limited visibility you have. So what I did was I added a a computer fan, a small computer fan to my helmet. And this is what this looks like. The main goal was to get the fan inside the helmet <clears throat> so that we can see when we walk. <laughs> and what I ended up doing was I got a, a Raspberry Pi fan. You can see it, it's like right, right up there. And I've got two AA battery packs, one here, one here. And I was going to run the wire around, but these, my cheek pieces are just foam. So the easiest thing to do, in my opinion, to keep it clean and keep wires from like right around my head was to drill a hole straight up through the foam and have the wires come up through the top. It's a little bit of a mess right there where all the wires come together, but I also found a very tiny rocker switch and put it right there. So now I can flick my switch, the fans come on, and there's just enough air in there to, to keep the visor clear when I walk. At least I hope there is. I was going to use um, lithium batteries because I thought I needed the the length but then I kept thinking about all those lithium batteries that were um, exploding <laughs> you know, and, yeah I, I just don't want to overcharge lithium battery right next to my head <laughs> granted I mean cell phone but that's we're, we're not gonna worry about that but that's where we are with that now all we have to do is tackle the outside and we've got a couple of pieces where the paint has chipped off of where um, the resin the resin has, has chipped and flaked Pro could be from transportation could be from just I didn't get a good adhesion there so we're gonna grab our paint right here we're just gonna grab some paint and we're gonna just touch it up a little bit. And when I mean touch up, I mean these are really small spots. So we're just, I mean it's really just a sus. And we're just laying the paint on there and letting it bubble down and dry. Cause these are very, the other thought would be to go in and make these these little dense scratches. I could go in silver and make them make it look as look as though it's gone down to the best car. And maybe at some future date we might do that. But for right now, we're not gonna press our luck. <laughs> we're just gonna. That's good. So. One down, moving on.
Okay, I know it's getting kind of full, but I do have two Mandalorian helmets. So since I'll be wearing one, I could put the other one in the contest. It's my Colonial Mandalorian helmet. It needed a stand. So one of the last minute ideas, and this always happens to me, last minute, I'm like, ooh, I want to take this as well. I want to take my Colonial Mandalorian helmet, all right? And I don't want it to just set it on the table like that. To me, that looks kind of, that doesn't look good. So I went and got a base. And this is, here's the base. And all I'm, what I'm gonna do is take my, my stand. Cause it sits on there. I think it looks so much better on the base. It looks, like it's on display, like it's on display. <laughs> so I'd rather have, not be able to see the base that much. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this down to where we just barely can see the base and you won't be able to see this part at all. <clears throat> just so you can know. I know, I know, I'm making all this stuff for myself. These last minute things. Two inches, roughly 10 inches. inches off of that we should be fine. So we're gonna go do that. Another model kit that I wanted to put into the contest at as a as a twofer and it's my holocron right and so what i wanted to do is pair it with my damaged holocron and i kind of wanted to display them kind of like that you know some something in this neighborhood you know one i also had wanted to have a label that said like this one would be labeled honor, honor, protect the survivors. And this one would be, um, remember the fallen, so remember the fallen and protect the, you know, something like that. And on top of that, this guy, I do believe, yeah, she lights up too. I can even put it on. The nice thing about this one is it's got this remote and I can put it on a four hour or eight hour timer and just when I set it up, hit the button and walk away and it, it's good to go. And it'll shut itself off after eight hours, you know. And I, I made, and then the following, so so the contest and the awards are, uh, judging is done on Saturday. And then on Sunday, when I come in, I can just kind of walk into the model room and just hit the button and turn it on from there. So, I, I really like, I really, let's see, multicolor, there you go. I wish I had a little bit more control of the color changes here. It, it's going a little bit too fast for me, but I could just put it on one color and leave it. Yeah. It's funny. It doesn't show up as like purple on the camera. It looks purple to me, 
the button says it's pink, but the camera shows it is blue. <laughs> so, whatever. You'll just have to come to Wonderfest and see it for yourself. But, I mean, I like the way this came out. It, it's all burnt and damaged. And, and I think separately they, they are okay. But I think together it, it, it gives you a better mental picture. I might need to touch up a little bit here. It needs a little bit more black uh, blackening here and there but for the most part I think I really like the way these two pair together and came I just have to figure out a good way to display them so we still have to work on that and that brings us back to our Mandalorian we really need to get back on that working on the backpack took a a lot of it took a lot out of me the, the a lot of a lot of the thought and energy and getting it getting it all together and once i got done with it i i set it aside and i just like oh, let me get some of this other stuff done so i can just kind of re-energize and get myself into com the, the final completion and what the final completion is i need to go on ahead and put everything on to make sure everything works together the way that it's supposed to One of the one of the few things that still needed to get done was I had to put a, a power switch for the lights because I got two little lights on the side. I don't know how I don't know how well you're going to be able to see them in the hotel. It, they might be unnoticeable, and maybe that's good. You know that you don't. It's subtle. It's a subtle light. But it still needed a power switch, so I put a power switch on there. I've got it hooked to a USB power bank, and I've got a. Uh, a I need to put a, a tray or slot or something in there so that the power bank isn't sliding around in there. The only remaining issue I feel like I have with the backpack is that the weight is such that it pulls it, it pulls it backwards, which pulls the the armor vest up. And I don't want that. So in order to solve that problem, I'm going to either have to put some suspenders on there on the inside or put a, a clasp or something to attach to my, my armor belt or something down at the waistline to keep it from, from moving backwards. But again, that means I'm going to have to put pretty much put everything on and make sure it all works and flows together. So the problem I was having is with the backpack on there, it pulls everything up. I thought I was going to have to come up with some elaborate system to clamp the front down, like hook the vest to the coveralls to keep it from flipping back. But all I got to do is just do like that. Instead of the Picard maneuver, we'll call it something else. You know. But that's all we got to do. So... Here's what it looks like. It's a little bit crooked. You need to maybe adjust the magnets on the one side and the middle. Or we might not do anything at all. But it does free me up to maybe get something else done. Uh, the other thing that I am able to do was my shoulder pauldron on this side has my signet or whatever in which is my initials in Orbish arranged in there so I wanted to put the mythosaur on on the other shoulder so <coughs> here you go just got to figure out what color I want to make it so we're on that The last thing that I might consider changing is my footwear. My cosplay boots get uncomfortable after a while and I do have some hiking boots that are very comfortable. And we all know who, if you've done cosplay, you know if you're not comfortable, if your feet aren't comfortable, it could make for a miserable experience. But Wonderfest is right around the corner the excitement is building. People on the Wonderfest pages are, are, are 
emailing back and forth or, or posting back and forth on Facebook and hey I'm gonna bring this and check this out and Jeff and I have been going back and forth I'm bringing this and hey check this out what do you think about this so we're at the point where we're checking the 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 Wonderfest page pretty daily now and I was on there the other day and I ran into this flyer and you know it says welcome 501st and blah 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 and so you've got some 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 stormtroopers on there and there's the two Mandalorians on the other side and I'm looking and I'm like wait a minute that's me <laughs> so somehow me and Jeff made it onto one of the Wonderfest flyers and I about fell out of my chair and I'm emailing Jeff did you see this he's like oh man that's really cool and you know what it is cool it is very cool if they make a shirt of that I'm totally buying it <laughs> but we got to get back on it we got to get back to it and because the clock is ticking and we don't so, at the beginning of this, we've gone from full tilt boogie to half tilt boogie to probably quarter tilt boogie. I think we're going to be fine as long as we don't add any more major projects to, to the works. So, while I'm working on that, going and building something, you need to go build something. It's fun. It really is. And while you're at it, find yourself a club of other people that you can do that with like like here in Kansas like at Astra those guys were great I interviewed them and and I need to get back over there and talk to them um, find yourself a local club some buddies that you can go hang out with go to the hobby shop with and and, and bounce ideas back and forth off of that's the beauty of, of Wonderfest I go there to get re-energized and, and gain ideas, look and see, oh wow, I never thought of doing it that way. And you can take those ideas home with you and you've got a whole year to incorporate them into your processes and procedures. But I've yammered on long enough. It's time to go get something done. Time to go build something. So until we meet again, have fun, safe and go build something. Pew 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 pew.